Hello there, I've recently acquired this 19th century boot pistol. Um, muzzle loading, it's not a screw off barrel. Um, okay, little thing, very nice grip on it with these uh, carved fan, fan shaped flutes. Nice checkering, which is still in good condition, and a vacant cartouche there. Now, uh, this pistol was cheap, it was £150. Um, however, what I bought it and this wasn't mentioned it it holds on half but it won't hold on full and you know there was no mention of that in the description of the pistol so I'm a bit annoyed about that really um, but you know what am I going to do I'm going to have to suck it up because I don't want to return it I can repair it so that's what I'm going to do Okay, so I don't think that's even screwed in there. basically yeah. okay yeah that's pretty murky in there Okay, this screw shows no sign of wanting to come out. Right, okay, it's started to move. I just need to take it off camera because I push it against my vice. 
um, but it is starting to turn. Still needs to be pushed against the base. Okay, that's it. Right. Okay, good. Ew. So I think you can see what the problem is. The notches I think are going to need recutting, but I think the main problem is obviously the uh, the trigger is just so worn it needs uh, an edge putting back on it so we'll get the trigger out okay that's a nail is test put it back together can see that it it slips into half cock there and it is holding there on full but obviously the geometry is not all set up properly I mean there's only this grubby pin holding it in there it doesn't look very straight either does it yeah so if you've got the spring on there yeah pushing on the hammer Slipping it out of, out of full cock. So I think we need to add more material to the trigger um, and possibly clean up the notches. so I think I've got enough new material on there we don't need loads um, so now I just need to file this down and uh, start to fit it so I think I've got this to where it wants to be um, the trigger and engages half and when you've got the pressure of the spring 
I don't think that's going to come out and then drop it in the full if you've got the spring behind it okay so I should take that out so here's the uh, the notches recut that's full and that one that deep one there is half and I've added on material onto the trigger here and slots into the half and then it will drop into full there um, these both well that certainly now needs uh, re-hardening uh, re um, so that will be the next thing to do and then uh, we'll put it all back together and uh, see if it works so I've uh, sanded this bright now so I can see the colours as it changes um, and then I'll quench it so I'm trying to get a, a blue colour just at the top there I don't, I'm not, um, Okay, I can see it going straw at the bottom. It's changing at the bottom. I didn't really want to sand that bit because I want to try and keep the rest of the patina intact on this trigger so it doesn't look out of place. But Okay, so it's, it's really starting to turn now. It's starting to straw. On this, on the sanded bit, on the shiny bit. Stand a really straw now. Stand a straw. I think it's. I think it's about. There. Yeah, I'm going to call that. Okay, so let's put it all back together and see what we've got. I'm good.
Here's a little trick which sometimes helps. When you, the problem with this uh, pistol is this spring is very short and very powerful. It's an incredibly strong spring for such a, a small pistol. Um, what I find is that if you can get the trigger out of the way by setting it backwards then it doesn't try and push the hammer away we've got to overcome this spring pressure to get everything seated so this pin will go through and as you can see it's not easy but hopefully that should assist a bit now the cable ties in the way I don't want to be wailing on this spring either, really. As you can see, it needs to the three bits, the two holes at the end and that and the hammer all need to line up. It's fairly easy to get them through the first bit but getting them through the last hole, get it all lined up is no easy feat on a spring like this. See, we're nowhere near on the other side. That spring just needs compressing more. Right, something else needed. This might work. So you really need to be clamping it as high up on the spring as possible. Right, what I'm going to have to do is get the big guns out on this. Um, it's, uh, not going back together. I can't, I can't squeeze it tight enough. Right.
feck it anyway. Careful now. Right. Mill off. That's it. half and it's not coming off so that's half god that's pretty strong Half full. God damn it. The full notch. I know it seems, yeah. Yeah, it seems alright. Like really pull it back, yeah. Half will not come out. Full. And fire it once. Yes. Uh, it's not bleeding good, is it? Um, so, let's just put it all back together. A moment. Half won't come out full. Right, so uh, that's I think as far as I want to go at the moment with this. Um, obviously, that needs a replacement, but I don't think just for the minute that that screw is going to come out because the weight on that spring is just keeping it all in place. Um, and yeah so things to do on this new main screw and new uh, pin for the trigger and just a, a general 
clean up really and waxing the butt um, but yeah that's it for today thanks for watching